G'day everyone, Master Rabbit back for another Game & Watch unboxing and gameplay video. So today, what we've got is the next one in the Gold series, which is the Game & Watch Lion, which is the third in the Gold series of Game & Watches, okay? So um, as you know, as what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you, of course, the box and everything. So this is the third and the final Game & Watch of the Game & Watch Gold series. As you know, the Gold series is pretty much the the cover, or one of the cover, the actual gameplay, uh, the game casing, uh, which was gold. And so this one here is the third and final of the Game & Watch Gold series from Nintendo. Okay, so this one is Lion. And as you can see, it's got an alarm as well, and the model number, which I'll be going through and showing you the box in general as I'll be flipping it around. Game & Watch Lion code is LN08, okay? So this is an original, of course, this is uh, basically a from Japan, of course, is basically all the Japanese um, writing. So, of course, as you know, while I'm flipping this around and showing you everything, of course, the Game & Watches were released um, between 1980 and 1991 by Nintendo. Um, they were created by game developer Gunpei Yakoi, and of course, they sold very close to, I believe it was, over 43.4 million units sold worldwide since they were released okay so that's um the <laughs> as always the little bit of uh history behind the game on watches and as you know nintendo did release three versions of this gold series as you can see on the in the back which i've already covered manhole helmet and lion so as you know uh lion was released well if you don't know i'll be telling you now Lion was released in April 29, 1981. Now, this one here, Lion, unfortunately, well, didn't say unfortunately, sold probably the least of the three gold series. So what I'll do is I'll take this down. As you can see, there's a serial number there as well, which normally should match the back of the game and watch, which we'll have a look now. Hopefully it does. Um, as you know, uh, well, you might not know, as, an, uh, as I'm already going to say to you again, um, the Lion, as was released in the, in the, uh, on the 29th of, of April 1981, and sold only, well, less than 250,000 units, unfortunately. It didn't go too well, um, considering the other two uh, in, the, in the Gold series, which was um, Manhole and Helmet. Manhole sold over a million, and Helmet sold a bit over a million as well. Uh, but o Lion unfortunately didn't sell that well, so I'm not sure why, but it is a pretty good game and it is very complicated and it's a bit um, bit hard to get used to, but it's not that bad and it is pretty fun to play and as you you know, we will see that in action very soon. Alright, so as you can see, uh, I got this, I got the plastic, which is great, that's the Game & Watch right there and what I'll do is I'll put it, I'll always put it, no, I put it down, it's got the little flip, the little little latch there where you can actually sit it there on your bedside stand. What I'll do is I'll put it just there. Okay. And we'll have a quick look as always at the phone box. So this is, a, my, I like to say that this one is in very good condition. Uh, nice and clean. And uh, the phone box that it sits in is very happy uh, and good quality as well. All right. So uh, we'll go through the instructions as always. I know that everyone might not want to see these. And I know that I keep blabbering on about other lot of, <laughs> probably pointless pieces of information but I do want to make sure that I share all the information I can with regards to all the game and watches that I've got because I want to go through them one by one and show all the information and of course um, the instruction manuals are sometimes hard to come by and so people might want to see them and that's the reason why I'm trying to do that as well so have a look and, and if you want always just pause and take Take a look at yourself. But as you know, these ones here, the most like the earlier versions of Game & Watches were always released, um, were released in Japan, and the instructions were in Japanese. So as you can see here, all the information, all the instructions are in Japanese. And as you can see, everything there, if I take a, cl take a, close, a close look at everything, it gives you all the info as to see as as how the play the game plays so as you can see you've got that little monkey up the top there that will have the alarm which i'll be showing you how that works you've got three misses so basically got three lives you've got the timer you've got the uh lion tamers hanging out on both sides and if you want to see that one there on this side there 
he is the lion escaped <laughs> meaning that if he when he does when he does escape that's actually a miss and he climbs up on the tree so there are two versions of the game and watch of course not two versions there's two gameplay types so game a and game b as always this goes through in detail as you can see there's the acl information as you can see right there that is the whole full reset screen that's all the animations that you can see at the time when you put all the batteries in which i'll be showing you soon of course there's the time alarm acl button two buttons on each side which move the uh, lion tamer from the top to the bottom trying to stop the lions from coming out which I'll be explaining to you. This is the Aramu, Alarm in Japanese, of course. And that's where how you set it. And I'll show you how that works when we get that going. Okay, game A, um, as you can see, all in inf all this information. Basically, game A has two lions. And you've got to uh, stop them from escaping. Um, as always, um, you do get free men at... 200 and 500 when you go play the game uh, at the, and that and the high score that you can get in this game is 999 now if game uh, game B you got three lions to look after and stop and stop from uh, escaping and it does get and it is pretty hard and it's pretty hectic uh, so you'll see that in action once again as I mentioned now here is the battery instructions on how to put the batteries in of course I've always I've always said this back in the day People needed to know, or people wanted to know how it worked and everything, and it was because it was quite new. So therefore, instructions were shown how to do it. Uh, this is uh, here how this works is uh, basically the best angle to play your game and watch in, and as they mentioned, probably roughly 40 to 45 degrees with a five degree difference. Um, you can see you. I'll be able to show that to you when I'm playing the game as well. All right, so that's it. That's Lion, uh, and that's all the information that you get with it. And the instructions are all here, and as you can see, there are other little commercials that, that show you other games that you can play as well. All right, so that is the instructions manual. So as I mentioned, if you want to have a quick look at it, make sure that you uh, pause and have a read of it yourself. It's in Japanese, by the way, so that's going to be a little bit hard if you don't know how to speak it. Or, sorry, read it, but anyway, that's it. So they take the batteries out of their battery container like Ocean. Let's take game and watch now as you can see uh as you can play sometimes when you play you got to make sure that you put it at a 45 or 40 degree, or basically a 40 degree angle so you can actually see the best you can when you're playing it. and i'll make sure that i try and do the same thing too while i'm concentrating and not to let, let the lines run out and get me okay so as you can see there's an acl an alarm game a game b time up and down for the lion tamers as you can see they've got little lion tamers have a chair <laughs> okay so basically the someone forgot to lock those doors there top medium up uh, top middle and bottom on both sides and so the lines are always going to try and come uh, try and escape so and I'll show you how that plays as well all right so on the back as you can see that's the model number LN08 DC that's the, uh, the rating for the battery power uh, as well as made in Nintendo and patented in Japan uh, so that's the serial number I believe it's I believe it matches Let's have a quick look or well, maybe it doesn't match sometimes these numbers are kind of off and this one looks like it is off as well quite a shame well the box is fine and the game is game game and watch is fine as well so anyway let's put the batteries in let's continue on yeah, let's put them in okay so once we put them in um you'll hear a little clasp click all right so we're good to go all right so once that's in let's flip it over and this is the reset screen okay so as you can see right there uh you've got three misses up the top okay and then you've got am pm time I just pushed the button so it's already showing one o'clock which should be showing it's uh, 12. okay then you've got the monkey uh, holding the alarm bell and then you've got the th all the different type of animations with the uh, um, the lion tamer if you want to call him with his chair and then you've got the animation with the lion trying to catch him on top of the um, tree okay so that's the lions now the lions actually do come out randomly so they're pretty hard to spot sometimes they they kind of trick you and they do want to they come out but they don't really come out but let's let's worry about that now uh, a little bit later so as you can see there's a time up the top which is uh a.m and then there's also p.m so let's just make it 5 p.m i'll make it 505 p.m okay so that's how the buttons work the button i'll make it 510 so the buttons on this side show the minutes the buttons on this side show the t uh, the hours okay and then you got to go all the way to 12 to turn it to, t to 12 p.m so once you're happy with that all you've got to do is press time Okay, and that will show that will basically bring you back into a time, uh, like a game and watch uh, demo. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to, basically that's what I used to do was I used to just sit it like that and let it play. Okay, because basically batteries will last for a very long time with this. So I would let it sit on my you know on my bedside stand 
and I would have a high score at one point and when I wanted to play it again I just pick it up and play it again and try and beat it so that's basically what I used to do so it's always good to have um, you know keep the batteries in if you wanted to keep it there for a while but normally what I do now is I take them out of course um, so yeah anyway so in the demo as you can see the alliance that, that this basically what you see here is three lines and that is game B okay game B runs a little bit quicker but plus you have three lines to look after or to handle um, uh, compared to game A which only has two okay so before we go any further um, I'll show you how to set the alarm and I'll show you how the alarm plays okay so what I'll do is I'll press the alarm button it's 511 right now so what I'll do is I'll press it now okay so let's see if I can do it quickly I'll set it to 5 okay and then I'll make it 11 press time okay now I think I did it too quickly because what I did is I did it too it's already 11 okay let me change it or make it uh, 12 okay so what I'll do is I press it and then press it again oh no I've gone far gone too far so that'll give me a bit of time to get to uh, 512 okay oh no going too far now now I've got to go that way one two five and make it 12 okay so once you're ready just press time oh, I did it again no no that's right so I did it right perfect all right so as you can see it's um 5 12 and now that should go off now I guess but it didn't let's have a look again yeah it should but it didn't I wonder why yeah 512 it should be going off right now how about we make it 513 one more time oh yeah there hang on a sec that's right and then go 13 all right that should work okay so you got to make sure that you have the uh, that little um alarm bell showing if not when you press it it could go off and on okay so that should now work at the 13 513 mark okay so what we'll do that well, while we're doing while we're waiting for that basically because um, if I push any buttons it could cancel but as you know the alarm if you want to have a look that's what time the alarm's going to go off okay so that's uh, what we'll do is we'll let it sit there for about another couple of seconds and the alarm should go off and you'll hear it it's not very loud but it can be used as a um, uh, what do you call it an alarm in the morning of course to wake you up there you go alarm is going off little monkey is playing with the bell all right so that's it very easy not too complicated the, the alarm is ready to go but as I was show, as I was doing before make sure when you do press the alarm button that the, the alarm bell is there and present if you take it off that means you're turning it off completely and you don't want the alarm to work but by having it on and showing that's when the alarm works okay so anyway basically apart as I mentioned before um, the Game & Watch series, of course, in all series, they basically had a 4-bit uh, CPU and a Sharp 5, uh, SMX family uh, PC uh, computer, if you want to call it RAM and ROM, uh, on an LCD screen. Okay, so basically this is an LCD screen that you can see here right now. All right, so let's, without further ado, what I'll do is I'll press the button for time. That should stop it. There you go. Okay, and as, you, as I was mentioning before, that a little alarm bell is there. And that means that at 5.13 next time, it will play, or which is tomorrow. Okay, done. All right, so let's out with a further ado. Let's get play, Let's get stuck into the game, all right? So what we'll do is we'll press game A and play that first. All right, as you can see, you got to make sure that you can control both sides. There you go. The, that, that line wanted to get out. Now, as you can see, you can hear it. Sometimes they fake to get out. That's the question. That's the thing. I. They're not really in this case. They're, these ones here, they want to get out. They're, that one there, that was a perfect, perfect situation. He wanted to get out and he didn't. But it kind of looks like he wanted to. There, that one there was about to get out. So you've got to make sure that you keep yourself in a very good position. Probably middle is the best place. And as you can see, you don't know what they're going to do. They're very random. Ah! <laughs> I moved down too quick. All right, so that's basically he just got me. All right, so that's it. So now, as I, as I as I was mentioning before, if I get to two hundred now, I can get my um, I can get I can get a life taken away, which you want to call it a miss cleared up. Okay, so I got to get to five. I, I would have to get to two hundred first or five hundred. 
uh, to get a life save uh, removed, which you want to call it a miss. Now it's you've got to be very careful. These little lions do run around pretty quickly, and the lion tamers you have to move the lion tamer with the, the left or the right up and down. You can't have them moving in different locations, so you've got to be very careful. You've got to have you've got to have you've got to have your eyes and your fingers on both. Probably in the middle is best. Oh, they're going to get me. Yeah, so you got to just have to estimate where you think they're coming out from. And at the moment, <laughs> they're, they're kind of thinking, but they don't know where they're going. Yeah, look at them. They don't even want to come out yet. There you go, there's one. And as you can see, you, you only get points for stopping them from getting out. As you can see, you've got two points for that one. Oh, that nearly got me. There you go, another two more points. So you can see, oh, he got me. I moved down too quick. I thought he was going to come out. So as you can see, it's quite hard. You've got to make sure that you keep a keep an eye on both sides of the screen and um, not not let them escape. Because if, you know, if they do, you'll be jumping on that tree for your life. They got me. All right, so that's it. Now, very complicated while I'm talking at the same time, I guess. I'm not very good at this game. Now, that's how it works. As you can see, um, the lion's... They kind of think about where they want to go, and you've got to make sure that you keep an eye on everything that's going on on both the left and both on the right. So what I'll do is I'll play game B now. Now, with the game B, no different, but you've got three. All right. All right, as you can see, there'll be a bit, there's a bit more action going on here. All right. Got to keep an eye on them. Yeah, you do have to keep an eye on him. Look at that guy. He knows what he's doing. This one's just sitting there. Ah, he got me. Wow, I'm pretty bad at this game. Oh, they got me twice in a row. Come on. Oh, he got me three times in a row. Wow, that was pretty hard. What I might do is let me let, let's play let's play game A again. Man, I'm pretty bad at this game. That's for sure. All right. So with game A, all right. Let's keep. Let's see if I, see if I can get a let's see if I can get a bit of action going on here. Well, let's see if I can stop them. Well, let's get see if I can get a good score. But as you can see, you, you kind of get it, it, you can pretty much get the gist of this now. Use the chair to stop the lion from escaping from his from whatever. It, ah, man, I'm bad at this game. Wow. But anyway, that's what I was pretty much saying. You're just gonna make sure you use the chair. Ah, well, <laughs> you got me free quickly. Man, my other score was better than this one, that's for sure. Wow. Okay, see if I can make up for it. Wow. Man, that maybe 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 it didn't sell maybe it didn't sell that much because it was pretty hard and probably nobody liked playing it. Nah, we can't really say that. This game is pretty fun. It is fun, but I'm just saying you, you really need to know. Where you where you where you have to put your hand your 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 man? I know I said put him in the middle, which is probably the best place to put him. But you always get confused because you got to kind of concentrate on both sides, and you got to have your fingers on both sides, ha understanding on where to go. Ah, you got me! My gosh! All right, that's twenty two for that one. Let's play game B one more time so you guys can see it one more time and see how bad I am. All right, here we go. All right, that was an easy one. That was an easy stop. It. You get back in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you get back in there too. Here we go. He's stopping. He's thinking, ah! You got me. Wow. They're really quick, you know, I've got to tell you. You get back in there, you. All right. That's good. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this game. Okay, anyway, you know how it works, I guess. Once this is over, we'll stop, which is going to be very, very soon. You get back in there, you. As you can see, they, they kind of fake it too. They kind of know they, they're going to, they might get out, they might jump out. They got me, that's it. So they might, they kind of want to jump out, then they don't jump out, then you got to make sure that you move it there, but then if you don't move it there, then another one will come out from the other side. It is crazy. And it's, that's bad. As you can see, I was kind of trying to talk and play at the same time, and I couldn't go to, I couldn't get any more than 30 or 40, uh, probably 50 points. So yeah, anyway, that is it. That is the um, 
full unboxing and gameplay video for Lion. So as I mentioned before, Lion was released in April 29, 1981. Okay, so that is it. So now uh, this is the end of the series for the game for the gold um, Game and watches. Okay, so as you can see that's all of them there now What I might do on the screen show you quickly one at a time the next ones that we're going to be doing now The next ones are the wide screen game and watches. Okay, the next ones are going to be this one here So the widescreen game and watches as you can see right here. All right, so that's going to be the next ones in the series. So they're called widescreen and the first one was parachute. Okay. The next one is octopus after that. Okay. So this is just a quick preview. I'm not opening them up. Just a quick preview. You'll see when I do the game and watch gameplays. First of course is going to be um, parachute. Next octopus. Then after that we've got good old Popeye. Okay. Popeye. That's the, that was the third one in the wide screen. This is when pretty much Game Watches took off. Okay, in my opinion, that's when they took off. Okay, so basically, uh, the wide screens were when everyone knew what was going on and go, oh, I want a Game Watch. That's when I started kicking them, kicking in, kicking in into high gear as well. With I telling my parents to buy me Game Watches as well. All right. So the fourth one was Chef. Okay, and then we've got the fifth one, which is. Mickey Mouse, which is with the eggs, okay, and moving right along after that was one of the most popular and hardest to get, which is what you want to call it ultra rare egg, which is kind of an off, like an off to, uh, you know, off one to this, if you want to call it like a side side game because basically it's exactly the same but you take out mickey mouse and you put a, a wolf and that was egg okay that was the next one in the series they're going up in order okay and then we've got this one here which is fire we all seen fire in the original series okay and it was remade again okay with a better screen okay and that's that and then there's three more which is now they changed color, but they're still classed as wide screen, okay? And this was Turtle Bridge, okay? Uh, and then one, oh, two more. We've got Fire Attack. This was fun. This was one of my favorites. Fire Attack was really cool. All right, and we'll be getting we'll be getting to those in time. And then we've got last but not least. Snoopy Tennis. All right, so that's pretty much all of the ones that we'll be doing in the next series. Okay, so the next series, as I mentioned before, widescreen. Now, the widescreen series pretty much were still released around roughly 2000, oh, sorry, 1981. They kept on going, and basically the last couple were released in 1982. So they all ran through around the same time. Okay, so basically that's it. That's going to be all those ones that I'll be doing one at a time. Uh, and that is it. So for now, let's bring this guy back onto the screen because it's his day. And that is, as you can see, the last time that you're probably going to... Oh, well, this is the... Basically, the, that's it. That's going to be the end of the video for now. And that's going to be it. So, Lion, say goodbye. And thank you once again for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to like, subscribe, send a comment or anything else that you might want to know about Game & Watches in general, I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be widescreen parachute. Thank you for watching. Guys, have a great day, and we'll speak to you all soon. Bye.